Mike, you know what time it is? What time is it? Fracture covers Yay! rewind! Woo! <laughs> it is <laughs> Keep going. Go ahead, we're never gonna get through this video. It has been an awesome first year for Fracture Compass, and Indeed. we decided to take a look back at some of the videos that we did uh -huh. and talk about what went right, what went wrong, some of the shenanigans, some of the behind the scenes things that happened. There were plenty. And hopefully we will be heading into an amazing second year. Yeah, I'm really excited for 2019. Um, I want to say for any of you guys that are new out there, I think a lot of people kind of want to get to know us a little better and also know like what our dynamic is. And so I will just say that I am Mike and I am the uh, brother-in-law of Bree. And Bree here is married to my sister, Jackie. And Jackie is our camera lady and also our editor and social media manager. That is her hand. It is pretty. It Worship is it. The so. glue and the foundation because without her, you guys wouldn't be watching videos since she uploads sometimes at 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. in the morning while so, I am sleeping. Thank you for that. That is our dynamic. So if you guys are ever kind of like you want to get to know more about us, we will be doing more Q and A's. Is the Christmas light hot? Christmas in your neck? lights are hot. We tried making this look good for you. And do you like this? This is our new. We tried. This is our new so. studio. This is our I know. new studio. They painted the. It's like a nice new accent wall. Yes. So. We need to get the logo right here. Okay, we're getting off topic. Anyway, okay. let's start off. We're going to watch the first video that you, you all, our channel, put out, which was January twenty seventh of two thousand eighteen. I'm excited. It's when you went to Wisdom Tree. So let us bust out this little laptop iPad thingy, and let's watch the first video. All right, the logo, first time. This is the video, Travel With Us Wisdom Tree, our first upload. Wow. What's up world, this is Fracture Compass, my name is Bree, and today we're here at the Wisdom Tree. Now right now, so we're fancy. at the trailhead, it's about three quarters of a mile straight up, so if you do decide to do this hike, please bring correct shoes, bring some water, I'm liking Jackie's camera angles here. And also, bring a snack. See that little flag right there? No, I'm kind of shocked how you... You know how like when you first start out something and you you know, you know kind of seem nervous? You don't seem nervous at all in this video. I was nervous. I didn't know how things were going to go. Um, it was kind of hard. And Jackie had all the camera equipment in a giant backpack and it's a three quarter of a mile hike straight up so it's nice but the fun thing about the wisdom tree hike is you can see Hogwarts castle you can yes really from that overlook point from the actually not even at the at the overlook point at the start of the hike at the base of the mountain of the base of the trail you look down and it's all of Universal Oh. And so you can see Hogwarts, so it's kind of it's kind of neat because I, I mean would, obviously I, I would do the trail just for that. Yeah. Nice camera angle shot of the flag. I was, with I liked, and also the music was done by my dad and Jackie. Good job. Because we wanted to make everything on the channel as original as possible. It's so peaceful. This vi I forgot how like peaceful this video is. You know, we started off this channel with like a lot of like hikes and nature. And I think we ended this channel with a lot of theme parks and Halloween stuff, and so I think it just shows how versatile we've become. Hopefully, we'll become even more versatile next year. So, uh, Yosemite, we're not gonna actually watch the vlog. I think one of my favorite videos is actually the teaser. And I think it's because I really like the cinematography in it, I like the music, it just pleases me mm -hmm. to watch that. Even though I do like watching the vlogs, um, me and Jackie, you can go and play it. I like the quote that you guys added to it too. Me and Jackie actually filmed a lot of the cinematography. We took turns. So a lot of these are our shots. And this is the first time that I went to Yosemite and it was beautiful. It was. We really went in like a good time of the year because um, there was still ice melt. And so there's a lot of waterfalls. But it was kind of freaky because, you know, so many people were like, stay away from the water. 
you can't go near the water because like people just get swept in it. How 40, fast was the water? 40, 40, 40 miles 40 per miles hour. Far. That's like, you don't think that's a whole lot, but that's like insane. And Somebody. it doesn't look it. No. It doesn't look like it's going fast, but you know, when you get into it, it would. I like the log sprawl. It's just very peaceful up there, and I recommend anybody going. Um, that was a fun three-day getaway. It was, and the cinematography was amazing. You guys, you and Jackie did an amazing job with the cinematography. And uh, we got up in the middle of the night to do astro photography. Oh, like we woke um, up at three in the morning yes. to film the sky because it's beautiful. Um, and I was, that was... <laughs> And I decided to take a selfie in front yeah. of Tunnel View because there's always cars coming out of it, but not at 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, and it turned out to be a nightmarish picture, but... We'll put it in right <laughs> now. Yeah. That's um, like, what did you say? Like, that's the kind of picture that like a serial killer will send you before he comes will, in like, your home grab your, grabs your phone and sends it to you. Like, oh, your yeah. Laptop. Or Super creepy. Like that movie. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, why does like the subscribe written like that? We did a long exposure shot and we had, what was it, a glow stick? What do we have? Oh, we just had that light. We had that lantern. Oh, we had like a little red lantern. And so we were like we writing realized? like subscribe yeah. in the air. And backwards. like we had to do it backwards and we had to do it within like 30 seconds. Who's the best at it? I think I Whoa. ended up doing the subscribe. Thank you. Did yeah. I think it was me. Um, but like it, we had to do it within 30 seconds or else like, so we would get to a lot of like, subscribe or like, <laughs> subscribe. Like, and finally I was like, no, we're going to do it. And we got to subscribe. And so that's why we, um, that's why the subscribe looks like it's neon. Yeah. It and is. it's funny because now we won't do that anymore because we have our end title, like we're our end page card. Yeah. Um, but that was fun. That was almost like, that was literally like an hour and a half of trying to get subscribe written backwards in 30 seconds pure pure entertainment yeah <laughs> um and oh. if you guys recognize the music uh nikki g did that remember she is the silent but fourth partner of fracture compass it's not the first time that we've used her because we used her in a joshua tree video um but if you buy her new album uh i believe that song is on there Partially, it's the first one. Oh, and another fun thing about Tunnel View was that I, I have a very bad fear of heights, and I don't think Bree quite realized that. I didn't and realize so, it. I'm it's so not on the sorry. teaser, but if you guys look at part two, or is it part one? I think it's part two of our um, Yosemite video. We are up on a ledge, and you can see the entire valley behind us, and I was literally like, Shaking and Bree didn't under Bree didn't like even didn't realize that I was scared and so she, every time we would yell cut and we would finish filming one of the scenes I would get, get down. down and Bree was like get up here Michael and I'd be like no you get down here Bree <laughs> and like we just like I was not feeling it so uh, that's a fun little fact I tried keeping it cool for you guys for the camera for the vlog I'm but so sorry it's okay and it's funny because like I am such a roller coaster junkie and I love like going on rides with like tall heights but I feel like because I'm strapped in I feel safe. But if I'm like standing on the ledge or something, like a cliff, it's not good. I mean, to be all fair, if you fell off, you know, death. But I yeah, really I was, it was pretty not it was pretty. digging it, but I did it for you guys. I went hard for you. <laughs> I went hard. Alright, what's the next one? Um, our next video we're gonna look at is the um the Fracture Tales candlelight. Uh, and for those of you guys who don't know what Fractured Tales is, we wanted to not only do vlogging, but also try to do some sort of storytelling involved with our channel. And so we yeah. started Fractured Tales. Every single time you see Fractured Tales on there, it's not going to be like a traditional vlog of us going out and talking. It's going to be like a little set piece. And so uh, we did, made like a minute, 14 second video and uh, we didn't go out necessarily trying to make this a scary short film. I just wanted to convey one single scene and just kind of create a mood with that scene. Um, and this is actually the first time that Jackie got involved and she was the monster <laughs> in this video. And this is the mask she wore. Look at this thing. Absolutely terrifying. And the mouth opens. And it's funny, you know, this, this minute scene took about I'm gonna say 30 minutes to film because in the scene she goes up to the candle and tries to blow it out, but it's so hard to blow out 
like, or just do anything with this giant thing. So she wanted to open her mouth enough where she can blow out the candle, but not like have the viewers see the face. And so we shot this particular scene at least like 30 times. Yeah. 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 It, was a, it was a lot. And, um, no, I agree. We wanted to kind of branch out, but this dude right here is the mastermind behind Fractured Tales because he writes most of the scary stuff and we're like, let's do it. I, I'm definitely looking forward to making more content uh, in terms of like just creating like something spooky, maybe even making a really good short horror film uh, because it's a passion of mine. I really enjoy making these films, but it has to be horror because I'm such a horror junkie. Funny enough, she is so about Halloween, and I mean, I am too, but she's so about Halloween, but hates horror movies. And so we might be doing a Hate segment next year movies. where it's called Brie Hates Horror Movies, and uh, we're just going to kind of film our reactions. We might even start tonight, but we are going to watch Candlelight right now and reminisce. I remember we did this little, like, um... So I remember just sitting in the dark. This was about sitting in the dark with this candle, holding it for... An you remember how much of a pain in the ass it was to get the lighting on this? Because we used your salt rock lamp to yes. light the back of the door while you had the candle holding up to your face. And like the story was like, oh, it's thunder and lightning, so the lights went out. And she's reading a book with like a candle right up to her face. And I'm in these, and I'm watching this right now, and I literally am uncomfortable with what's happening in the film. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I don't like things walking up behind we me. We didn't want like either we didn't want it to be just jump scary or anything like that, even though the second one is. This was the just second one's a jump scare. This definitely. was just kind of trying to create like a tense mood and seeing if we were able to accomplish it. So let us know in the comments down below if you think we did. If you guys rewatch it, um, because we got some comments. We, <laughs> the light just went out. <laughs> so we got some comments for like it was a cliffhanger, like what's next? And that's why we ended up going to Candlelight 2. And, and there might be a Candlelight 3, there might be, you know, just completely new original content. I think we really love this mask so much that we're gonna try to incorporate it more, but we're also gonna try to keep things fresh. She's yeah. not gonna be in it all the time. We don't even have a name for her. Do this we? guy makes an appearance at Midsummer Scream, um, and some of these short stories we actually do submit to horror, like, the contests horror and, contests yeah. and whatnot. So uh, we unfortunately haven't been able to make the final cuts yet, but I think we're brand new to this and yeah, we're we still can learning. Keep going. This yeah. is a learning process. I mean, this is our first full year of vlogging yeah. and we have to admit that we've learned a lot and we're growing still. And so thank you guys so much yeah. for bearing with us. You know, it's, it's a process. This is all, yeah, <laughs> it's very much a process and I am dedicated 100%. Okay, so what's next, Jackie? We went from doing Fractured Tales and then we started our kind of love affair with the Queen Mary. Uh, and we've been back twice so far, not counting Dark Harbor. This so is, by the way, this is very like Blair Witch Project. -esque. Yes. So. The moment, the one moment that I want to talk about the paranormal ship tour, there's two tours. There's a paranormal ship walk tour, and then there's actually the paranormal investigation, which we did later on that you guys can watch. Um, but it was the first time that I had done the paranormal ship walk tour, and I really wanted to get something because I was just like, oh my god, I want to get something on video. And my dad and I went and as we're walking into the bow of the ship where the accident happened where the Queen Mary had cut uh, one of the ships that was escorting her um, in half there's supposed to be obviously like oh that's a tragedy so there's to be ghosts in there and as we're walking into the the bow and we're like there um, we didn't realize that everybody else had like gotten their fill of it and left and so, so just by yourself. we were literally by ourselves and as I like turn around with the camera I realized that uh, there's nobody else in the in the in the ship. I would have been like oh area of the ship and okay. I was like uh <laughs> and so yeah we like turned the camera on ourselves and it was very Blair Witch um, at that Spooky. moment. You know there's something that like aesthetically pleases me about the Queen Mary but at the same time scares the sh out of me. Yeah. You know? And I think as gorgeous as that ship is, when you do go into the sections of the ship that aren't oh, restored yeah. Yeah. and they're just like 
stripped down to the bare bones. When we went to the anything. Queen Mary Dark Ooh. Harbor event and we went into the propeller room where they lit up just the blades of the propeller. I don't know why it freaked me out and it wasn't even scary from a ghost or a haunted standpoint. It was scary, scary from like a machine standpoint. Like I was so scared to yeah. fall in there and like get cut up, even though the propeller wasn't even going. Does that make sense? No, I, it doesn't. I was just like just... looking at it and I'm like, if I fell in there and they started the the engines, I would be dead. Like it's some of there's one of those things where you really primal fears. realize how massive that ship is. Yeah. And it stinks. Well, and it's, it's just old. it's old and but that adds to like that fearfulness too, you know, like it's it feels old and so that's why I feel like the Queen Mary for some reason I'm so drawn to it, but at the same time I'm terrified of it. Yeah, same. And I will keep going back to it. It's like a same. You know, I know. It's it's something calls you back because there's more to explore on that ship, and at the same time, you're like, why am I stepping aboard this ship? And I really want to stay um, in the haunted room. What, what room number is it again? The B340 room. B340 room, because uh, I should have known that, because we went through the maze. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, want to, I want to do that because uh, I think that would be really fun, but I will not do it by myself. No, nobody should no. ever do it by themselves. I've seen some other YouTube videos of B340, Nobody's ever by themselves. And then we got a puppy. You got little Riley Bear. She's right over here yeah. chewing on a sock. Riley is uh, trying to come here. Come here, baby. Hi, sweet pea. Okay, so if you guys remember, Riley was 12 pounds when we got her. And now she's 70 pounds of pure love. Oh my God, uh, so big she's now. nine months old. Give me a She's nine months old. She's nine Give months old today. Huggers. Jackie just said. But so let's watch this video as we play with puppers. Loves <laughs> everyone. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm, I am winding up the dog. Have she's... you guys seen that one video on Instagram where the Grinch is like, oh, yeah. oh, 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 see? <laughs> winding up the dog. Don't wind her up. She just got back from school. She's in her intermediate oh, school. Oh, look now. at you. That's you. Hey, dummy. Look how cute you are. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh, she's okay. so cute. Oh my gosh. I know. I know, I know, I know. How uh, was she? And this like is actually the day after you guys actually discovered she had. Par oh, this is the day before. We were planning to do a whole bunch of videos with Riley, um, and the next day we found out that she had parvo. She Shh. tested positive. Obviously, um, she lived, because look at her. Um. But thanks to the vets, she's okay, uh, and we got her, you know, it was just one of those things that happened. But thank God she's still in our lives, because she's an amazing dog, and she's learning every single day. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Alright. Alright, what's next? Bye, Riley. Alien Descent. Bye, Riley. Alright, so ahead. start talking about videos that never were supposed to happen. We did Alien Descent because... Go ahead, you guys this one. So Jackie and I were like, we need to do something. We need to do something. Uh, Riley was still in the hospital, so it was a little bit stressful for us. She was doing fine, um, but we were like, uh, we need to do something. So we called up Mike. We're like, Mike, there's this like new alien VR, VR thing. And I obviously was like... There's virtual reality thing over at the block. I was like, yes, I'm going to do yes. anything related to alien. And I'm so happy we did because... Jackie and my huge fans of the alien franchise you're not huge fans are you no i love the alien franchise but i mean you guys like yeah, know it, it's like, I, yeah. the lingo and everything like that i do not i mean i know you know alien obviously and you know the basics rippling let's yeah. rock anyway over, man. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you just put oh. her in charge <laughs> So that was a video that, you know, we weren't even going to film and I'm so happy we did because I am too. This video led us to our first media event. Rob Taylor, the creator of this, um, was very kind and ended up watching this video and said, wow, you guys did a great job. And so you guys, that's one of our most recent uploads that you guys can watch. Um, but I am so, let's play it. I am so happy that we ended up making this video. Yes. And it was the first time that I'd ever done virtual reality and I'd been like staring at uh, other virtual reality places and um, Porn I tripped out, you guys. I like, have such a bad ripped mustache. Ripped out, right it's okay. You know what, it was a mistake. Do you guys want to know why I had that mustache for a couple <laughs> of those videos? It's because I was shaving and I forgot to put back on the um, <laughs> the guard. The guard. And because I'm a dumbass, I was like, and I was like, oh. <laughs> 
and I didn't want to shave it all off because then I looked like a baby. So I was like, I'm just gonna leave some fun. And uh, we realized real quick that it probably just wasn't my look. So my most favorite moment of VR, if, other than the fact that this is my first time doing VR, so when we walked out of there, I was like, oh my god, I was pumped. Because like, you know, I grew up as a gamer, and we all are still gamers. Um, but it was the moment when the stasis thing opens, and I look over at Jackie, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like... <laughs> We're like little like people. Oh, and I like how I'm actually small too. I was small, so it read it read and she was tall and I'm just like, what is happening? And then the fact that you were actually like free roaming through you know, you weren't just not free in roaming, place. like there was a there was a path that well, you were yeah, supposed to follow. Path. But like But you're actually walking through I and I was I was like, there. ooh, I wanna touch the railing. It's there, yeah. you know, like ooh. Yeah. So it um, was a, it was definitely a really fun time. I um I'm so happy that we did that video. I and am too. And Jackie did a very good job with this opening. So when we got home that night, I'm like, are you gonna work on the video? She's like, yeah. And uh, in the first video, what was it called? What's that thing called? Where you oh, describing just, or whatever? Just like, it's it's kind of like, like it's typewriter. Font yeah, it's like, like a typewriter thing. You know how like. How it's you basically like are looking at a screen sometimes like and it reads screen. out the and it reads out the specs and everything like do, that do, or what you're supposed do, to be doing do, in green. Do. So she figured out how to do that and I swear to God she spent like two hours doing it. Well, it paid off. Um, and it absolutely paid off, obviously. Um, but not only was the experience great, but the people were great there too. And Kiana, the manager did an amazing job helping us out this second time and obviously Rob the co-creator would not have uh... yes so thank you to Kiana the manager there for yeah, setting cool. up everything and helping us out the second time we got to go and Rob the co-creator Sorry. So next we are going to watch our first construction update. I do not know if this is the one with Ghost Rider. I don't think it is, but for those of you who have followed our channel, we did do a video where we were trying to show you guys the depths and um, Paranormal Inc. construction. And the only way we could do that is by taking an iPhone on Ghost Rider and trying to film it for you guys. And that was a disaster. But this was our That's first um, construction update. And this is the one that kind of, I think, got more than a thousand views and so we were like oh this is like our biggest hit and, you know in the scheme of things it's not a whole lot of views but that's fine like we're not here for the views no. but it was significant in the fact that you know this showed that we were committed to showing you guys our halloween content and i think that this is where we started getting that really strong following of people that are just as enthusiastic as halloween um and i think this is a this was a great starting point for our channel this is where we showed a lot of growth i think um, we learned a lot of techniques. There were definitely a lot of criticisms, and there's you know things that we took away from this that we can grow. But uh, I am really proud. Funny enough, we are filming in the cemetery that is in Ghost Town, right next to Pony Express. And so every single time the Pony <laughs> Express came by, what would we do, Bree? We would just go. We would just stop, and be like. <sighs> but no, this was this was really really fun. This was a good video to shoot, and I this was like a good starting point for our our channel's growth. And it kicked off Halloween. And it kicked off Halloween, and I feel like at this point, like, all of our construction videos and monster update videos and everything like that, like, the rest was history mm -hmm. for this channel. Ooh, the Not, not scary, scary Farm, farm live stream. stream. Okay, so, let me start this there off some drama. by saying there was some drama that happened uh, with this, not even with the video. Um, but with the start of what was happening and we knew that, you know, we had been doing the construction videos and we had to get to this, uh, live announcement and we had totally been planning it the whole time and all of a sudden people were starting to get emails and some people got emails and some people didn't get emails. So we, I don't know what happened there, uh, but Jax was on the computer just trying to figure stuff out and some kind soul whoever you were actually sent the link to Jackie 
and then Jackie was able, yeah, yeah and we're pass holders, and we've been pass holders for years. Um, not only were we pass holders for knots, but we're pass holders since like 2015 or 16. I 16? think it just shows that it's becoming for, exclusive. For Scary Farm. For also Scary Farm. In fact, I found my 2016 Not Scary Farm pass the other day, and I was like, oh, nostalgic with the clown. Not two um, years ago, nostalgic. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> anyway, sorry, keep going. I'm judging. <laughs> um, so. We got in basically like sh sliding underneath the door, like Temple Run. Okay, like it's be I think like it's because Scary Farm like is just always growing and popularity is always rising. But that there were empty seats. It is, but like that's what people were saying. It's like like people were like, "Well, show us the empty seats," because it's never sold out before, and that has never happened before. So I don't know if it was a glitch in the system. I don't know. Um. So it started off with controversy. So we got in. Um, and you know we got we showed up we waited what an hour or so in line uh just happy to be there at that point and kind of wondering what was going on so it opens up with the most fantastic forsaken lake forsaken which we... lake uh performance and it just set everything up and we had talked about that 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 setup versus reality, and we know it's in its infancy, so hopefully Forsaken Lake will be growing. But they have as, to, man. They gotta know. They, will, they gotta know where they made those mistakes. As I'm watching, as I'm holding the phone, and I'm holding the phone, and you know it's an hour, and my hands are just like, oh my god, they're already stressing out. Um, we go into it, and I was all like, oh, you know, I wasn't expecting anything. I was all like, we might get like 20 people. We had some people that we knew were watching, kind of talking to Jackie, going like, yeah, the feed's fine, um, because they were watching at home. And uh, it goes t up to like, you know, 50, and I was like, ooh, 50. And then it's all like, and then like, it goes to like 150, 160, and I was like, and 165, I think, was like, what happened? And I was happy with that. I was like, oh my god, there's 165 people watching our feed. Well, then what happened was like, I guess actual Knott's Berry Farm streaming um, on their Facebook, it was like something was going on with it and it was crap. And we went from 165 to like 400, like within like two seconds, like and higher. Jackie's saying hi. The Jackie. video currently now has 6,000 hits. It almost has seven. Th yeah, it almost has seven thousand views. But I, I think we were, a lot of I people were. I was told were the, by monsters that were watching it while we were like doing it. They um, came up to me afterwards and said, "You were the only view. Like you were the only one that went all the way through because everyone else's feet cut out yeah. for some for some reason." So I don't know. Like if you guys can hear, yeah. Like our feed was the only one that went all the way through. So a lot of people were watching, and I feel truly blessed by the vlog gods because that was an amazing amazing thing for our channel you're like my child <laughs> yes <sighs> let me bless you today thank you um because and and i think what made it so scary for me too as well and we're both we were i think jackie and i were both sweating bullets is because we tried to live stream in summer and it did not work the there was it was just inside that building there was too many people using the wi-fi it just it just was not working and so when we got here, we were like, oh, like, please work, and it did, and it worked amazing, and we were the only one that was consistent, and I'll take it, um, but I still think next year, Winner. I'm going to maybe possibly invest in a Wi-Fi, so that there will be absolutely no doubt that I'm the only one using the signal. Um, so I am going to look into that. Continue, proceed. I... In opinion, loved Midsummer Scream. Um, I was not thoroughly impressed with Scare LA, uh, even though it said it was supposed to be in the dark. Um, but what I did like is that Jackie's cinematography on both those videos were so good that Midsummer Scream and Scare LA ended up, uh, I say, like reposting, um, saying check it out. That was a great honor, I think. Because again, we were just starting this year. So yeah, it's nice. It's like, nice when it's you kind of get that like. It's nice to get recognized, and it's yeah. it's nice that Jackie's cinematography could and her editing, because I think I think the editing on those videos were 
really, really spot on, um, especially with the music that she used. But we will be there again next year, so if you guys want to come out, we are always happy to see you. Halloween Horror Newts. So that one was, I got that from Tim Checker, by the way, sorry, he says that a lot. Anyway, Halloween Horror Nights, and I think this video was so monumental because not only did it get a lot of hits, but it was also, you know, we were building up to this, I have a sock in my hand. We were building so much, <laughs> <laughs> building up to this moment with all these construction updates that we were doing since July, and it was finally September, it was finally around to come around, and we kept promising on the deliverance of hey, we're gonna be filming these Halloween events, and so this is the first time that we fulfilled one of those big promises, and yes. we went opening night to try to get you guys covered. We went Se opening night. September 15th. It was definitely a learning experience, because I don't think that we, our camera equipment was quite equipped to film the dark scenes. Yes. Um, and so we remedied that. We actually got a new low light camera, and so next year's Halloween events are gonna be an uh, easier experience for you guys to view. Yeah. Doesn't mean we didn't have a good time. I think that we just were not ready for just the darkness of it all. Um, we still were able to film things, but overall it was a good event. We were just a little disappointed again um, by the black rooms, but it was still exciting that like Halloween season has begun. We are doing our first Halloween event together and it was kind of special because it was the only Halloween event that I was gonna be able to do with these guys because they were busy with knots. Yeah. And this has literally started the weekend and darker. before, right? We went on we went on the 15th and Scary Farm opened up the 20th. So, um, yeah. And we got to meet two uh, fans of the yeah, channel. Yeah, that was so special. Which was so cool. We met two people that, like, we had no idea who they were, and they were like, hey, we're big fans. Can we please take your picture? And it was just like, oh. Thank you. Because we always want to meet you guys. Um, I'm definitely excited, though, for next year because. That new camera that we got is going to look great, and we're going to be able to film every little crevice of that maze, even if it's dark. So, yeah. And we ran into Batman Gnome. Batman Gnome. Batman Gnome. Shout out to Batman Gnome. Um, and he's starting his own vlogs because of watching our channel. So That's that great. Was, like, that makes really us cool. feel so great. Yeah, because like, we're just like regular people doing stuff. So, you know. And we will be on the lookout for your vlogs, too. Yes. So yeah, Halloween Horror Nights, it was definitely a fun time. I really do enjoy looking back at this video because um, it was just, it's fun going to events with you. And I'm sorry, it sucks that we can't go to more Halloween events yeah. together, but your Not Scary Farm career is taking off and I am proud of you. Well, I hope it's taking off. I wouldn't, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I'm like superstar or anything. You're not saying special. it, I'm saying it for you. You're a superstar, no. you know it. You're a superstar, you know it. Plenty of Can you other... like cut it right there? <laughs> Listen to me right now! <laughs> there are plenty of other monsters out there that have dedicated their entire lives. Of course, but be proud of your friend. accomplishments, okay? Do. Don't sell yourself short, I lady. Got Halloween Horror Nights, yay! Phew. Gone. What's the next Over. one? Over. Looking forward to the next year. Without black walls. Universal. If I have to pay $230. <laughs> My extra 30 bucks help you <laughs> paint some of your walls. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so Scary Farm, uh, the so Mike we're, we're has watch part one or part two. Mike did his first vlog by by himself. That uh, was a learning we experience. Working. I think you did very well, and it it got over a thousand views. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely, again, a learning experience, and that was my first time really getting to know this camera, mm -hmm. figuring it out, and so I'm so sorry for how grainy and how shaky it was. I am getting better, but it was definitely a learning experience. Uh, I did feel a lot of pressure because you had so many views and so many people watching our construction updates for Not Scary Farm, mm -hmm. and uh, so I felt like I need to do a really good job filming covering the event. I was, I'm actually not too happy how that video turned out, but I will go ahead and take all of that and turn it into something positive and say that I, I can't wait to film again and prove that I can do this. Yes. But it definitely, it, it was, I felt immense pressure on, on filming that. And uh, I think I rushed and stuff like that. So I'm not, I'm not really pleased by how the Scary Farm video turned out. But um, so far, you know, no one's been too brutal about yeah. it. No, and I, 
again, it's our it was our first year. Yeah, I'm still and learning. We're learning, and so we will obviously be looking for it to uh, improve because mm -hmm. we can always just improve on what we do. And I think finally, we are going to be talking about Dark Harbor, which happened November first. So that was actually the only time that we could go. And I know we already did a um, like a big like super vlog talking about all the Halloween events. So we're not going to get super into detail about this no. one, but I'm still really proud of that one. It was the the final haunt thing that we could do together collectively. Um, and it was just a fun time. I, you know, I kind of underestimate Dark Harbor on, on how much fun they can really milk out of the limited things that they have. Mm -hmm. And so that's definitely a video that I watch a lot. Um, and also it was really great because, you know, a lot of our friends were there. A lot of, oh, we had a really big group. We had about, what, yeah. 15? We had a huge group of all monsters. And I had some of my old coworkers and Jackie those coworkers yeah. there. And so it was just so much fun. You um, guys can definitely see them uh, bombing the back around yeah. as we're trying to do our vlog. And it made vlogging a little more comfortable too. Like, oh, you don't, oh, yeah. you don't like me vlogging? Okay, well, I got 15 monsters. Yeah, I here. got 15 friends that say I can't. Um, yeah. But... And like surrounding us. Plus, the, uh, the monsters were um, that clown that was talking to us. Uh, and while Shippy and Matt were trying to do the outro, the outro that's our Shippy that and Matt was, are our friends. Yeah, she's uh, like, what is wrong with you? That was like, just, that was all her. She just, we did not talk to her at all about doing anything. She literally just came up and started interacting with us. And I thought that was really cool. Um, that's something that, yeah. that's something that like Universal and Knots can't really do. No. Um, the Universal because Knots we, do what they do very well, which is being more interactive, you know? Just to, that doesn't mean that Horror Nights is bad, it's just if you want that level of interactivity, is that a word? Yeah, interactivity? Um, then you are going to want to go to Dark Harbor. But it was a great, and I just got a sock through it. I mean, I'm trying to go. So, um, all in all. I think, it was, I think it was a really good event. And something, fun fact, my friend Shine, my best friend Shine had no idea what Dark Harbor was. As she's on the bus, she finds out what she's doing. And in some of the mazes, she started to panic and would like bolt. And I'd be like having to grab her and be like negative. I'm like, we do not run into danger. <laughs> we do not run into the pain. We do not run into the pain. So, but that was fun. I think all in all, this year has been incredible. I think it's been incredible for us as a channel. Um, we started off with 10 subscribers and now we're at what, 540 as of December 520th? And it's been 20? just so, almost a year. Yeah, and it's, and you know, it's been just a year and I still think like, you know, I'm so grateful that we have people that have the same interests as us, you know, and it's just good to know that like, we're not weirdos for loving Halloween. We're not weirdos for loving to go to hikes and, and you know we just we have such broad interests and we have so much material that we want to show you guys and we also want to show you guys our lives because we're wanting to share it with you you know we want you guys to really get to know us um it's so wonderful reading the comments and seeing all the wonderful things you guys have to say um it just it makes me feel like i have another family through you guys and it makes me feel like like, you know, you guys are watching, you guys are always commenting on our stuff. It just makes me feel good. And so I cannot wait for 2019. We have some serious, crazy things planned. We cannot, I don't think we're going to quite reveal just yet. We kind of want it to be a little bit of a surprise and hold our cards to our chest. But something very fun is planned. And But we will reveal two fun things that we are going to be doing next year that are already booked and we are already set on it and so the first one is going to be vidcon yes we will be doing. going to vidcon um as creators and hopefully we can see some of the creators that inspired us to do the channel um and hopefully we can uh network and learn more yeah. about the world of the tube <laughs> Um, but we'll also... No. No? No, no yeah. Okay, that's no. <laughs> And then we're also doing um, the Minion Mayhem Marathon 5K at Universal Studios yes. in May. And we're really excited about that. We will be vlogging that. We're going to try our best to make it so we're not just like... Uh, yeah. But we're going to be wearing outfits. We're going to be dressing up like Minions and we're having a good time. I think you're going like to be Gru. Min okay, I'll be Gru. <laughs> <laughs> 
she was she was about to like was about oppose to, to it, and then she was like, "Wait a minute, yes, yes. I am definitely a minion. I she is Groot." So I we're really Groot. excited. We have, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. We have so many things. I'm almost kind of stressed out about it, like on the many, many, many things that we have planned for you guys. So thank you so much for sticking with us. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. And I promise you guys that. Because we honestly don't have a channel if you guys aren't watching. No. So we absolutely appreciate your subscription. Yeah. And this has been the greatest adventure in sharing it with you guys. It's It's been incredible. So with that being said. From bottom our of our hearts. Weird family to yours. <laughs> always be ready. Because you never know where your compass will take you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And happy holidays. Happy New Year. And, and whatever you celebrate. And happy Yule. <laughs>